Hi guys, uh, uh, this is going to be my shopping list for CVS. I'm going to go ahead and go through uh, everything. Uh, I do have something to talk to you guys about, uh, about printing uh, a certain coupon out at the end of this. Uh, the Palm Olive, uh, they're going to be 89 cents. Uh, we're going to buy four. You're going to use, you can buy four, you can buy however many you want. I'm just going to go ahead and buy four. Uh, you're going to use the 50 cent coupons that we're going to get this coming week uh, from the newspaper. Your out of pocket is going to be $1.56 or 39 cents a piece for each. So if you want, you can buy four. I don't know if there's an actual limit for per coupon per purchase or what, but I just plan on doing that in my scenario. I'm just going to go ahead and buy four. Not the greatest fan of palm olive because it's kind of like water, but can't be 39 cents. I'm willing to buy it. Uh, renews it. Uh, with the Renews It coupon that we have, some of us have only uh, buy one, buy three, get one free. Other ones have the buy three, get three free uh, with different max values depending on which one you have. So uh, I'm doing my scenario with the coupon that I have. Uh, the Renews It, they're buy three, get th buy three for three dollars. Uh, you want to buy, s in my scenario, you're going to buy six of them. You're going to use uh, a dollar dollar fifty cent red box coupon that we're going to get this coming week. And then we're going to use uh, the buy three get three coupon with the max value of $14.17. If they take the max value, then uh, it's only going to be out of pocket $0.33 cents for six of them or $0.05 cents a piece. Uh, the ones I highlighted is for the 25% off that we're going to use within our deal. The Windex touch up, uh, you're going to be spending Spend 15 get back $5 in extra care bucks. Uh, they're going to be $4.99 each. You can you want to use uh, your 25% off discount. You want to use four of your $1.50 coupons. And then you're going to get back $5 in extra care bucks. And also, uh, the saving star is supposed to be giving $5 in extra care bucks back when you spend 20 So, my scenario with this, it is... Uh, you were buying an extra one just to get towards the saving star, but I also want to talk to you guys about this because the total is only going to be nineteen dollars and ninety six cents because the products are four ninety nine. That's what it is in my store is four ninety nine. So it just depends on what you have on your store. You might need to uh, uh, kind of change your deal up. I'm not even sure if it's going to hit for the twenty dollars for the nine for the for, for the product only being $19.96 I might end up having a problem so I'm thinking if I might purchase a Glade product that is uh, probably one of the sprays that are not too expensive and I could possibly use a 50 cent coupon within this scenario and use my 25% off that way I'm only paying a little bit of money out of pocket but the way I have this scenario uh, if it does get the $5 for uh, being 4 cents under for the saving star, then it'll end up becoming a one dollar and four cent money maker for four Windex products. Uh, the next thing is the Edge Shave, uh, the shave gel. It's uh, spend ten get back four dollars in extra care bucks back. You can only do this one time. That it shows on the paper, that on the news. On the newspaper for the the scenario for the I mean, not scenario for the paper uh, for the the next week's sale. So we had some bogo coupons on coupons.com. Hopefully you're printing those out. Uh, you want to use two. They're going to be the max value of three dollars and forty nine cents. Uh, you want to buy four of them. Hopefully it takes off the twenty five percent off on each because they're not going to be on sale. Uh, so they're going to be roughly two dollars and sixty two cents a piece. So they'll take off the whole two dollars sixty two cents. Um, after you want to go ahead and you, uh, you're going to, I'm sorry, you're going to use the 25 percent off, you're going to use your BOGO coupons, and, uh, after your extra care bucks that you're going to get, which is the $4, it's going to be a 50 cent money maker on that one. With the Revlon Color Silk, uh, I'm sorry, this is the butter, butterscotch or buttercream, uh, hair color, so I do apologize, I didn't write that part in. Uh, you want to buy two for nine dollars. We're gonna get three dollars in extra care bucks, and then we're gonna use two of the three dollar uh, Revlon coupons, which won't be any money out of pocket. You're just gonna be paying tax on that one. 
the head and shoulders if it's something that you want to do I just posted up here I'm not even sure if I'm going to use do this uh, scenario but you're gonna buy three you're gonna get uh, three for fifteen dollars we're gonna get back five dollars in extra care bucks we're gonna use three of the one dollar coupons uh, we're gonna get back a dollar and fifty cents towards your beauty club rewards uh, Sorry, I put the extra care bucks. Uh, oh yeah, well, and this this is just telling us what this, the item is, what we're gonna do in this scenario. Uh, you are gonna get five dollars in extra care bucks back. So your uh, pay out of pocket is gonna be five dollars and fifty cents, or three a dollar and eighty three cents a piece. So it's five fifty for three of them, or a dollar and eighty three cents a piece. Uh, the next one, the Colgate 360 toothbrush. They're two ninety nine. We're gonna get two back, two dollars in extra care bucks back. Uh, we want to go ahead and buy the max, buy two. Uh, use uh, the one dollar coupons for each of them, uh, and then you're gonna get back four dollars in extra care bucks altogether for the two. So your out of pocket is only gonna be two cents. I think that's gonna be. I'm sorry. That's gonna be a two cent money maker. No, no biggie. Uh, the Listerine, I didn't get an actual price for the product, so I just posted up here because this is something I do plan on purchasing. Uh, it's going to be the spend 10, get back $5 in extra care bucks back. You want to do your scenario with a 25% off on this so you can get a cheaper price. Uh, and then you're going to get your extra care bucks in within that scenario. Uh, I've, I have seen, if you guys want to pick up, I have seen some uh, $1 coupons at, at Target on top of their uh, Listerine products. So if it's something you might want to take a look at. This other scenario, I don't plan on doing myself because I don't have the coupons for it. But the Lysol wipes, the 35 count, you want to spend 30 get back $10 in extra care bucks. You want to use uh, five of the Lysol, $2 off of two. Uh, it is from the Walgreens manufacturer coupon. It's the one that's in the cold and flu book. I didn't get enough of these and I already used... Uh, two of the coupons, two out of the three coupons that I have, so I'm not going to do this scenario. But uh, if you do do this scenario, you're going to uh, get back $10 in extra care bucks, but your out-of-pocket is going to be $10. Where's my finger? Okay. Uh, and then you're pretty much going to be, uh, they're going to be, uh, you need to pretty much spend, uh, they're, they're going to be $10 for 10 of them, or they're going to be a dollar each. All right, guys. Uh, this next scenario, I did two different scenarios depending on which coupons you guys have. The Revlon Color Stay, uh, this one's for the pressed powder. They're going to be ten forty nine. dollars It's going to be a spend 15 get back $7 in extra care bucks. You want to buy eight of the pressed powder and one of the eyeliner Color Stay. At my store, the Color Stay was $7.99 for the eyeliner. It's going to be a total of $91.91. You're going to use a 25% off email coupon. You're going to use eight of the four dollars off of the face cosmetic product. You're going to use one of the two dollar eye coupon products for the Revlon. And you're going to get forty two dollars in extra care bucks back. You're going to get uh, nine dollars in beauty club rewards. Uh, so your out of pocket is actually going to be a sixteen dollar and four cent money maker if you have this all these coupons. With the next one, if you have more of the $2 coupons for the nail polish, nail face products, uh, then it's going to be the Revlon Color Steel Nail Polish. They're going to be $8.29. They were $8.29 at my store. You're going to be spend $15, get back $5 in extra, $7 in extra care bucks. You're going to buy a total of $11, which is going to bring you at the $91.19 mark. You're going to use 11 of the $2 coupons. For both of these scenarios, the coupons don't limit you in the number of uh, coupons that you can use in your whole product. So if you have all the coupons, do it in the whole transaction. Okay, guys? Uh, so again, you're going to use 11 of the $2 coupons. You're gonna, your total is going to be uh, $22 worth of coupons. You're going to get back $42 in extra care bucks. You're going to use your 25% off. Uh, you're also going to get $9 towards your beauty rewards. Your uh, money maker on this one is going to be four dollars and sixty one cents. Uh, with either one of these scenarios, whichever one you decide to do, depending on what your products are, the prices of your products, it might be a little different. At my store, this was 
ten dollars and forty nine cents, and and you know, so it all depends on how you guys do your scenarios, depending on what your pro product cost cost. Sorry, so uh, you know, try to do what you guys can. Uh, I did mention this in a previous video. This is going to be quite a large extra care buck, forty two dollars, and unless you plan on using and buying enough products. In a scenario within the next two weeks, that might be an issue with having a $42 extra care buck. So you might want to ask your uh, cashier in regards to this if there's any way that you can, she can either break it into two or have you do uh, two transactions and then on the second transaction also letting her, letting you put, uh, do a 25% off that she will have to manually input into the computer into the cashier uh, into the into the machine so uh, you know just talk to them about it usually sometimes they're really nice about it especially if you're a returning customer uh, so that's just something I wanted to let you guys know whichever scenario you do you're still gonna be with a large extra care buck so see what you guys can do about that with the Chic Hydro Silk Razor they're gonna be $9.99 uh, there's a $4 printable coupon right now uh, I'm going to go on here really quickly. I just went ahead and I just, uh, I pretty much just uh, went on Yahoo because I just use Yahoo more than I do Google. I put Chic Razor printable coupon. I came down here to uh, this one, uh, not that one, I'm sorry, this one right here. As is livingrichwithcoupons.com. Uh, I went ahead and went on the page. This is what the page looks like, guys. It says high value shit coupon, save $4. Uh, if you want to buy it on, at CVS or if you want to go ahead and uh, skip the deal and either go on to Walmart and pick this up or go to Target and pick this up, uh, it's for a coupon that looks like this. I haven't actually printed it out yet. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm my printer I don't know why it's going super super slow it prints out whenever it feels like it so I'm still waiting on some other coupons on from Target's web page to print out so that might take a while but uh, or else I would have shown you guys the coupon that's what the coupon looks like supposedly it says uh, and any women's uh, razor or refill so you so what it looks like uh, sorry guys this is the this is for this coming weeks it does say chic hydro hydro or hydro silk so I just went ahead and uh, I just wrote down on my scenario the hydro silk but in any one you get they're gonna be $9.99 you need the four dollar printable coupon you're gonna get four dollars in extra care bucks back and then you're gonna be out of pocket a dollar ninety nine so it kinda depends on this deal if it's something that you wanna do uh, it's really up to you. I did write down the uh, the web page on here just in case uh, I'm not able to print this stuff out and I have to turn off my computer, turn it back on. Then uh, I'll have to go back to this link. Uh, if you guys, if I have time, I'll, I will try to put the link down at the bottom so you have less to uh, search for, and then you could just push the link and uh, go to the actual printout of the the coupon. Alright guys, I uh, hope this is helpful. If you guys have any questions, please leave it down below. Uh, but this is my uh, scenario uh, shopping list for the week of 9-22-2013 at CVS. Alright guys, thank you. Bye-bye.